Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Marie. I'm so glad you could tune in. Today, I want to show you how to turn this soya bean into delicious silken tofu. The process is quite simple. Once you learn how to make it, you may never want to use store-bought tofu again. Let's get started. We'll be making a block of tofu that weighs about 450 grams. All we need are 710 ml of water and 200 grams of dry soya beans. For the coagulant, we'll use 3 quarter teaspoon of gypsum powder. Earlier today, I rinsed and then soaked the dry soya beans in water for about 8 hours to soften them. Notice they have double in size after soaking. Combine the water and the soaked beans in a blender. Grind until the beans are completely pulverized, about one minute. Check the grow up puree to make sure there are no small grainy bits of bean left. If so, grind for another 15 seconds. Next, we'll extract the milk. Put a strainer over the pot to help support the soil slurry while filtering. For a filter, I'm using a sack that is made of muslin cloth. A clean pillowcase works just about as well. The puree is quite thick and it can't seep through the cloth easily. You need to apply a little pressure to help it along. Squeeze out as much soya milk as you can. After all the milk is extracted, the pulp should almost feel like it's been dry. Cook the soy milk on low heat for 10 minutes. It tends to foam while boiling, so you need to watch it and stir frequently to prevent it from boiling over. The milk will put out a beautiful soya aroma after it heats up. Now we'll mix the gypsum powder in 1 tablespoon of water, stir until it's well combined and pour it into a separate pot. Quickly pour in the hot soy milk over the gypsum slurry. The pouring should be quick so that turbulence will cause the gypsum to disperse throughout the hot soy milk. Then, don't stir the mixture more than one or two strokes. The less you stir, the silkier the texture would be. Cover the pot with a lid and let it sit undisturbed for 5 minutes. The mixture will curdle as it cools. To mold the tofu, use any square or rectangular container that has holes at the bottom for draining. I'm using a store-bought one that works quite nicely. You can improvise with any plastic container as long as you put holes underneath to allow liquid to drain off. Line the tofu mold with a layer of muslin or cheesecloth. Pour the curdle mixture into the mold and spread evenly. Fold the cloth over the top. This helps shape the tofu. Use any weighted object to help press out excess water from the tofu. I'm using a 1.2 litre soya sauce jug for my weight. Put a flat object on top of the cloth to rest and balance the weight on. For silken tofu, press for about 5 minutes. The rule is, the longer you press, the more water will release and the silken tofu will gradually change into what's called firm tofu. Once you are happy with the consistency of the tofu, remove the weight and wrap the tofu from its cloth very carefully so it doesn't fall apart. And then transfer it to a plate.
there you have it, a nice silken tofu ready for your recipes. Thank you for watching. I hope you will give this recipe a try. I have another video that shows you how to turn soya beans into sweet flavor pudding desserts. Please check that one out, you're going to like it. Happy cooking!